in this video, we will talk about task management. So let's say we go to the home menu and you'll notice we have portfolio program and we have supporting tools. So task, task management is under supporting tools. Uh, supporting tools, it has a lot of item. Uh, there are, there could be up to 25 modules here. So in order to organize them, we have them grouped. Uh, we might rearrange this group in the future to improve the user interface. For the time being, uh, let's stay focused on task management. So supporting tools will come under the support, and then we have task management. So we can select task management from here. And as you notice, this is a new project, so it's totally empty. And what you can see here are different information. For example, if you have been working on project and you want to download to PDF or Excel, their options are there. Uh, from this eye, you can rearrange the column. Uh, so, and if you some column you don't want to see, you can actually turn off, right? So I'm, I'm going to keep everything here. And usually the, the general guideline in the, in the table that I'm using, we start with the plan information. So plan start, plan finish, plan effort, plan duration. And then uh, we have a duration unit. What are you using hour, days, or whatever. Then we have actual information. Then we have forecast information. And then we have completion toward the end. Anyway, uh, typical task management, there are a lot of column in here. Some of it you maybe don't want to use. Again, you can go here and you can turn them off from here. So this is what we will call the task, uh, the, the task list view, uh, and it's empty. So let's start maybe to populate. What do we do? Let's add a task. So we can add a task. You can put task title. So let's say we're going to call it test one. And you have to specify which stage is apply. And over here, you get the, op you know, it's not stage related. You can choose that. Or if it belongs to one of these stages. Obviously, if you are working in the first stage, you are in the discovery stage. So probably that's what you will need to do. But sometime you might be thinking about uh, test, I mean, the task that you want to do in closure. You know, you can, you can go ahead and input them. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, so you have to specify where which stage does that task belong to and here i think it's defaulting to planning because we are planning you assign the task leader and let's say munir uh, obviously here you have different team team members you can put the estimate hours uh, obviously this is uh, we might decide to make this optional uh, but let's say it takes 10 hours right now and when do you plan to start because this task maybe you start immediately maybe you're going to start October 22nd, all right? And uh, uh, what is the planned end date? How long do you think it, it will take? Depends on uh, if one person, two people, you want to work full time, part time. Uh, obviously, effort, this is estimate hour, this is the effort required, 10 hours. If 10 people are working on something that they can do it in one hour, great. If, if one person working one hour, uh, you know, that, that means it's going to take one hour a day, that's going to take 10 days. So the duration is uh, obviously up to you. So let's say it's going to take a week, right? So we'll finish on the 29th. And uh, the duration unit in this case is day. Uh, we're choosing days. And duration, um, you, you can leave that, you can leave actually both of these open. Is this a subtask? Uh, usually what happened in, in case you have a task and you have some subtasks, you can group them together? No. Uh, description? I'm not going to put any description. You can put anything you want. And this place is good if you want to add team member, right? So obviously this comes from, in case a task is done by one individual, that will be the task leader. If there are more than one person, then in addition to the task leader, who else needs to be involved? And if you want to allow other team member to comment on that, your, your choice, you can say create. Right? So we have created this task now. What else can you do? You can ignore the shading for now. This is something that we have been having some error there. We're fixing. Uh, but basically, you have, a you have a task right now. And as you can see, it is there. And you can see the people that are assigned and zero complete. I'm not going to add more tasks. Let me just show you the other feature. If we go to 
the calendar view, you can see that we have a task that is starting here and will finish on the 29th or showing ending the 28th. Uh, and then you can do a Kanban view, right? Now the default Kanban view is only two column, plan and close. But however, you have this button here where you can add columns. Let's say uh, if most of your tasks are on off, then two columns are good enough. However, maybe what you want to do here, you can see the plus sign. You can say plan, uh, you can say draft. And let's say to achieve the draft, it require, it, it's about 50% of the effort, right? So it shows that progress to date would be 50%. And let's say we want to add another task. I mean, another milestone. So basically review, and let's say we want to put 25% on that. Uh, obviously up to you, correct? And so what do you have right now? So when you reach that level, so let's let's do it that way, right? So now you notice we have a plan, we have draft, we have review. So plan is zero. If I move it to draft, that means the, obviously the task is right now and draft is completed, right? The draft is complete. And that means we should be seeing 50%. Let's say, I hope we don't have any error. Uh, and what you can see here, actually, yeah, it's 50% complete. And then what you see, el what else we see, if we move it to review, that means once it's reviewed, and then that remain, uh, that uh, basically the finalization and may lead it to close. So as you can see, you can decide on these column, you can decide on the waiting, and uh, that's it. So basically now you have tasks where you can view in task list, uh, you can view in uh, as a calendar view, right? And something is wrong. Okay. Uh, yeah, so you can see the task view. You can see a calendar view. I'm not sure what happened here. Uh, we would need to check into it. Then you'll have the Kanban view. Okay. And if I go back to put it here. Okay, that's basically it.